Hello, beloved family. I'm back. Uh, please bear with me because I'm I'm really quite tired, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, I I just didn't want to wait. I believe I've got a revelation on something, and I need you guys to hear me out. And I was led to a couple of things that seems like it's confirming it. But before I begin, welcome to my channel. For anyone that's new, my name is Shelly. You're going to want to go back and you're going to need to watch part one and two of the videos with a little blue bird in the title. A little blue bird. Then you're going to want to watch the little video I did today. Um, I can't even remember what I titled it. It's so hard to keep up with everything. Okay, you're going to want, want to watch the last three videos I've done before this one. So just back all the way up. At least three videos. You may even want to go back further than that. Because I'm not going to do... Um, a context introduction right now if you've been following me you already understand everything I'm so sorry about that I'm just tired guys we know the about the 11-11 war the nuclear exchange that Philip Barnett was shown his prophecies are already in progress and proven prophetic We've been searching um, for puzzle pieces, trying to put everything together. Well, earlier today, this revelation came to me. And uh, I was thinking about making the video earlier, and then I, I got waylaid. <laughs> But I think that was deliberate um, because a couple of things have uh, I've been led to seem like I'm on the right track. So let me try to explain this all to you. Firstly, a headline pertaining to our timeline because on this channel we've also been following... Uh, the timeline of Sarah Hoffman and the vision that she was given about end time events. And hers, her uh, prophecy is, is in progress as well. Ebola lockdowns have begun in Uganda, leaving many experts on edge as the virus continues to spread. We know that Sarah Hoffman's seen hemorrhagic fever killing people during the judgments and you know we're we're so close to everything we're so close to the rapture and uh, hemorrhagic fever Ebola Marburg virus um, worse things to come we know the uh, thing that everybody's been taking for the last two years is causing a lot of this disease and it's going to get worse. Here are three chilling ways you'll be told we're at nuclear war with Russia and what you must do. This is just a recap on all the nuclear headlines we have seen for months. A couple months at least, every day. And it's increasing. It's, for weeks it's been two and three a day. Sometimes five and, and more, at least related to it. Bunkers or, or buying up potassium iodide. Something pertaining to this war. Jabu Seven was sharing that war of annihilation with Russia to be simulated during nuclear war games dubbed 
steadfast noon. So they're having war games, preparing for their planned out nuclear exchange. America will hit Ukraine and Russia, and Russia will hit America. It's in the prophecy. America will hit Ukraine because of the areas Putin has taken over. I believe later on, though, after the smoke clears and America collapses, then China and Russia will actually invade America. I think it, that's looking more like how it's going to play out. Um, yes, definitely go back and watch the other videos. You'll be blessed. So, family, this is what I was led to tonight. This sister, Lashara Pinkney, Pin, Pinkney, <laughs> um, was sharing that she had a dream of a ring of fire in the sky, and we've been looking out for uh, Beetlejuice to go supernova, God's heavenly signs pointing out his calendar and leading us to the rapture of the church. And Manchild Ministries and Romo 10, Roche, and all the other dreamers who are getting the same thing. We've been talking about Jonah and the 40-day warning that started on October 5th. Again, you need context to go back and listen. It's all leading to 11-11, which is 717 on God's calendar. Uh, November 11th is the 7th month and 17th day, and it's also the anniversary of Noah's flood. The blood moon eclipse is on the 8th, and the 9th is the first day of Tabernacles. 11-11 is also the third day of Tabernacles. So family, um, she also was shown a football on fire. Oh, this is important. She said what came to her was the nuclear football, the nuclear weapon football. And when I heard this, I was like, this is it. This is it. I, I, this is it. <laughs> this is why I was delayed on making the video because I needed this to help back up what I was thinking that I wanted to do a video about, about the revelation. I was also led to this four-year-old's prophetic dream. His name is Jonah. And, again, go back and listen to the video so you can get full context on the 40-day warning and Jonah and everything I've been sharing. Little Jonah, he described a meteor, but I believe it's Beetlejuice. Sealed by the blood is the channel. Um, the, it's from two years ago. He was four years old at the time, and we know the number four, I've been given that too. Uh, lots of us have been given the number four. It's four means door, um, and Jesus is the door. Revelation 4, the rapture. Four horsemen are coming <laughs> as well. Uh, but his name is Jonah Family. So, stay with me here. Talking about the war, we're talking about the rapture. We're talking about Jonah, the 40-day warning. Go and warn Nineveh from our brother from the Bible Architecture Channel. He was also shown America burning. Then, this sister, football on fire. Really quick, I've seen this today. Rapture opens floodgates to horror from the History Channel. The History Channel has been on 
on a, a row of Armageddon and End Times and uh, all kinds of End Time just videos, okay? And it was underneath Never Lose Truth channel, and she's got the scales of justice in her little picture there. And I've been talking about judgment coming. Justice, right? We got a message about justice coming, judgment coming. And rapture is underneath it from the history channel of all things, right? I mean, and they're also, you know, they've been sharing nuclear winter nightmare, 10 ways the world will end. They've been, they've been doing all kinds of just end of the world scenarios. Biblical and rapture, you see, um, episode 12. So, the world is, is predictive programming all of these biblical events, right? The world is prepping the people for uh, their lives, right? They don't want people to know the truth. That's why they deflect. Family, I know you've probably seen this from Gigi the other day. She was talking about Russia issues civil defense instructions to entire population with radiation pills. But what I'm focusing on, family, is what it says underneath it. A video from Robert Breaker was underneath it that says, What will happen after the rapture? And we're talking about nuclear war and, and the headline that Gigi was sharing. The point is, I believe that was not random or a coincidence. What will happen after the rapture was underneath this? That's why it's circled. I've seen Acts 111. I've been seeing it a lot. Rewards for members. You know, rewards in heaven. Jesus will come in the clouds the same way that he went up. Acts 111. The rapture. Family, when I was standing waiting for a bus, I was kind of just waiting to share this. Um, it was yesterday. I was just talking to the Lord while I was waiting, and I was like, Lord, are you really coming this time? I mean, you know how we do. Um... We've been through so many watches, but I know that this one's it. But still yet, I was asking. And family, I pick up my phone. I mean, I click the button on my phone. And the first thing that pops up is God is always on time. And you see it right there with the little clock emoji. And those clock emojis are big with confirmations for me and... God is always on time. And then there is a message underneath it, but not with numbers this time, just a message. Happy running shoes confirmed. And we're running our race, and we're about to cross the finish line. God is always on time. Happy running shoes confirmed. And 1008 means house of God. And we're going to the house of God, right, family? Next, your gift, your new post, and our new post will be in heaven. And family, at the bottom you see 717. And we've been talking about 1111 is 717 on God's calendar. It says, up as soon as possible, get ready. And it was right after I was talking to the Lord. And he sent, God is always on time, and his little message underneath it. And then I got this with Acts 111 on the clock when I seen it. And when I seen my 321 confirmation number at the bottom, John Simon left me a comment, and it came in at exactly 1230, which is my 321 from right to left family. And his name being John has like the little J, right? For Jesus, 
I knew it wasn't a coincidence that I seen it at exactly 111 and 321. So I deciphered the message and it, it says, I am. And it's also got Russian, uh, it's in Russian. I am from, from God, I, the I am. Rescue. Hallelujah. Salvation is at hand. Amen. The 1229, when I looked it up, it means to proclaim, to declare. In 1213, to I make clear. I make clear. So, John, your comment turned out to be a confirmation. Thank you for leaving a comment. And again, while I'm thinking of it, YouTube has been deleting comments, family. I'm coming, basically, is what this is reading. I'm coming to rescue my church. And this is what I need to go over with you, family. This is the revelation. November means nine. November means nine, okay? Nove, nine. So 11 and 11 can also be interpreted as 9 11. Many of us were seeing 9 11. Sister Mustard Seed brought it to my attention and, and memory that November means 9. We know Tony Early was, was seeing it a lot and he was confused about it. It's also 717 on God's calendar, and my daughter and my mother both were born on 717. Like, the baby, the church about to be born and delivered into heaven, and Sister Mustard Seed got two baby confirmations too. And family, you know that three, two, one is my big old confirmation number. Well, we know all we all of us know about Lori V and what she was sharing, and everybody was sharing it. But I believe I've got the revelation on it now. She was given 321, and I get 321. She was given 911, and we were all, get, you know, I was getting 911. And 1111 is 911. 1111 is 717. All three in one day 1111, 717, and 911. She was given Titans and Giants. And the football game that was the Titans and Giants family was just a confirmation of it. Russia and the United States are the two Titans, or the two, the Titan and the Giant that is about to drop nuclear weapons on each other family on the true 9-11, November 11th, 11-11, 9-11, 7-1-7. God's calendar, the day the flood started. This is what it was all pointing to. And I believe I just was given revelation by the Lord because I'm a three, two, you know, Lori and I both, three, two, one. Everything I've been sharing on this channel, you can see the correlations, family. And I just shared the lady talking about having the dream about the football on fire the nuclear football titan and giants football teams playing against each other on 9 11. are you seeing the picture the revelation that i believe the lord brought to me this is what it all means it is no, uh, we, we, we weren't all crazy, you know, with the things we were seeing with 9-11. The, the thing is, we had the wrong 9-11. Philip Barnett was shown the nuclear exchange will be on 11-11 on the Gregorian calendar. November also means 9, so it's 9-11. On God's calendar, it is the seventh month and 17th day, the third day of tabernacles, it is also the anniversary of Noah's flood. And a football, titan and giants, and a nuclear 
football, a nuclear exchange between a titan, Russia, and a giant, the United States. Then I was led, like I said, to Jonah, and I would have been telling you about the 40-day warning, the little boy named Jonah, and the Beetlejuice uh, meteor, he called it a meteor, but I believe it's Beetlejuice, and then the sister that I just shared, with the ring of fire dream, and the, and the football on fire dream, two different dreams, and some other things she's got going on on her channel. And I see 111, 111 back to back. Putin declares martial law, final moments, twinkling of an eye, Acts 111. 11, 11, I seen it last night. Family, when I was on the Bible Architecture channel, listening to him uh, give his timeline for Psalm 9010, the big generation. Just seeing what his insight was. Family, right underneath his video, this is the same brother that was given, go and warn Nineveh, the 40-day warning. He's seen America on fire. This is the same brother family. And, you know, Jonah. Jonah is the only sign they're going to get, right? Before the end. Jonah is the only sign they get. Right underneath his video, the Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. I know this, all of this cannot be a coincidence, family. It is just no way possible. I couldn't put all this together on my own. Y'all know this. This has to be Holy Spirit. I was looking at Roche. She was sharing this new picture. And, um, so I outlined it, you know, and it's like the, uh, constellations that she was sharing. Family, here's the original. That looks to me like a whale. And I outlined it. It looks like a whale swallowing something. And the other thing looks to me like, um, the arrows or the scales of justice. And I outlined that, and I put the little emojis there so you can see what I'm talking about. And then the uh, Scorpio thing. Uh, but I tell you, she was thinking that it was like water spilling from a different constellation. But for me, family, that thing looks just like a whale, like a Jonah whale to me. That, I don't know if it does to you, but I thought I would share that. And when you turn it to the side, family, it, it looks like um, a bow and arrow or the scales of justice there. And if it's the scales of justice, then it's like the 40-day warning and the whale, Jonah. Right? You see what I'm saying? I've seen 717 yesterday and Manchild Ministries underneath it, you know, the appointed times. Uh, oh, in 1111, uh, when I was looking at this picture again, I looked up. It was 1111 on the clock. Gabrielle Ad Ad Adger had a dream. I had a Halloween dream this morning, and in the dream, Jesus, me, and my daughter, and other people were walking down a road away from the party. I was at the party, but not a part of it. But I was dressed as She-Hawk. There was more to the dream. It was very symbolic. This week, God has given me three dreams. And Saturday, he told me not much time left. I believe the rapture is this year. I believe it 100% that it's in November. The Halloween is just marking the time. All of God's appointed times. is coming up so I thought I would share that and loud little roar sister the Lord also showed me a white horse galloping furiously on October 1st SOS is also something personal to me and the Lord started uh, 
and the Lord that started in 2020, in the last two weeks, the Lord has been showing me SOS in very unique ways. Also, Song of Solomon. And we've been talking about Song of Solomon on this channel, and Man Child Ministries has, and um, the Shulamite Bride, and um, I believe these are true words from our Father. It's time to steal away with the Lord to hear Him. Song of Solomon. So I wanted to share that, family, and that's it. Uh, it's just, you know, the numbers, they're, nev they're never a coincidence, family. The Russians are coming. Jonah, 40-day warning. Philip Barnett, 11-11 war. 11-11. Acts 1-11, Jesus is coming. Please go watch my last three videos. You really need to watch it all to get the big picture of everything. November is 9-11. It is 11-11. And it is 7-1-7. And the 3-2-1 would be the third day of Tabernacles, which is 9-11, 11-11, I believe it's all pointing to this, family. We're going home. And then this Titan and Giants uh, nuclear exchange is coming with the football on fire. The nuclear football. So please, family, let me know in the comments what you think. I prayed before I made this video. I know it wasn't a coincidence. I was led to this little boy named Jonah. And this sister talking about a football after I'd already put this together earlier today. I know the Lord guided my steps to all of this. And we're getting ready to go home. I just know it, family. Something is coming. I know Jesus is coming, but a flood is coming too, is what I'm saying. We could go on the blood moon or any day after. You know. But I believe that flood is going to come on 11-11, which is 717 in the third day of Tabernacles, the day of the flood, and it's also 9-1-1. Okay, family, I love you guys. God bless you. We'll talk soon. I might come and do a video tomorrow if more comes. And I know more will come. But please, if you're new, go watch the last three videos. You've got to get the whole big picture. All right? I love you guys. Our King is coming. Thank you, Jesus, that you're coming. Good night.